Ninety years ago, two sailors fell 360 feet to their death while docking the flying aircraft carrier USS Akron to her mooring mast. In 1932, the 785-foot-long airship flew cross-country from New Jersey to California. Low on fuel, USS Akron was now 36 tons lighter. Also, California sunshine warmed the helium inside, making the carrier dangerously light. Since this particular stop was unplanned, no trained ground handlers or specialized mooring equipment were present, ensuring this was a disaster waiting to happen. To avoid a nose stand by the out-of-control airship, one of the mooring cables was cut, and the USS Akron rose upwards. Most of the ground crew, an experienced seaman from the Naval Training Station San Diego, released their lines, although four did not. One let go at 15 feet and suffered a broken arm, while three others were carried up 360 feet. Two seamen grew tired and fell to their deaths, while seaman Bud Cowart held on for two hours at 2,000 feet before finally being hoisted on board the airship. 